Hello, and welcome to today's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Um, one of the things that we know from the feedback is that occasionally we, we, we go too quickly. Um, so we're covering a lot of material relevant for people who have a clue about how to solve cryptic crosswords and, and want to improve, but who, um, you know, who already know the basics. So I, I thought what we might do today is to go right back to, to basics. Um, and explain some of the very simple, uh, or try and explain as simply as possible, I should say, um, you know, how a cryptic clue works. Um, and you'll have heard this mentioned if you've tried to watch some of the videos, but it's, it's worth going back to. Every single cryptic clue um, will contain within it a quick crossword clue, and it's always or almost always at the beginning or the end of the clue. So one of the techniques that you know you have to learn when you're solving these puzzles is to try and find where the cryptic clue lives within each individual clue. And then once you've learned that, once you've started to be able to spot the, the quick crossword clue, you then have to obviously learn some of the techniques for solving the rest of the clue. And the rest of the clue is wordplay, i.e. it's an instruction on how to create the letters that you need to give the answer to the quick crossword clue. So let's take let's take a, an example here. Three down. Communist nut while in ginger group. Okay, so the, the quick crossword part of this clue, as we said, is either at the beginning or the end. So it could either really be communist, I suppose, or one in ginger group. Um, so it's actually the latter. One in ginger group is, is the definition. So we, what you have to remember as well is that sometimes, especially if you see a question mark applying to the definition, um, you shouldn't read it too literally. There's normally a pun going on. So uh, one in a ginger group might, might sound like it's getting a, you know, I don't know, <laughs> uh, something to do with eating or food and, uh, you know, and the ginger root. Um, that's not what's going on here. It's talking about ginger haired people. So, um, you know, there's a little bit of license that the setters are allowed when they're coming up with their definitions, and that's especially true when you see um, when you see a question mark. I'm just going to quickly reference five down here, just to illustrate the same point. So here we have some months before the new issue is due. Um, now, if you read that, you might think, oh, it's referring to a magazine. Um, you know, and maybe the months before a magazine is issued, whereas actually the question mark there is getting at the fact that new issue um, is referring to a baby. So um, issue is sort of a, an expression that can mean you know, one's issue, one's new child. So actually this clue, the answer is pregnancy. So some months before the new issue is due is nothing at all to do with magazines. And the whole thing needs to be read as a cryptic definition. It's a pregnancy. Going back to the communist clue. Well, and when we're looking at wordplay, we've talked in some of the earlier videos at trying to find instructions within the wordplay. Well, here, there's no instruction. Um, there's just communist nut as the the two parts of the wordplay. So in cases like this, you're almost certainly looking for a short word for a communist followed by a short word for a nut. And I can't overstress how important um, you know the, the short synonym point is. If you can, even if you even if you in fact even if you can't work out which part of the clue is the definition and which part of the clue is the word play. If you can look at all the words in a clue and just try and come up with short synonyms, you will find you're able to make progress with solving some of the, some of the clues in a times crossword or any cryptic crossword. So here, 
let's think about what's the most obvious, I suppose, short word that could be a synonym for communist. Well, it's red. And a nut, well, there are lots of short words for nut, but we know we're looking for somebody who's got ginger hair if we've been thinking along the right lines. So hopefully you've, you've already got that the, the, the synonym here is, is head, um, as in nut being one's head. Now, what I'm going to do now is to try and find another good example of a clue that we should um, that would help us to. Okay, we'll have a look at this one. I think one of the reasons I look at this one is I thought it was a nice, nice wordplay. Um, so, gas across battlefield becomes morning symbol. Now. When you're trying to identify which part of the clue is the definition, you should always look for words like becomes uh, in, the, in the center of a clue. Because if something is becoming something, it, it suggests that what comes next, what comes after the becomes, is probably the definition. Because the wordplay, gas across battlefield, is suggesting that if you put the name of a gas across or around the outside of the name of a battlefield, that whole thing will become the name or a morning symbol. So here, it's it's quite mathematical in terms of how the clues work. You know, you often have you know a plus b equals c or a equals B plus C or some, something of that form um, and it's really just a case of learning and getting better at, at working out how the equation is being phrased in each case. So here we need the name of a gas again we're thinking of short names of gases so you know people it would be perfectly reasonable to think of something like neon um, but often with crosswords, especially cryptic crosswords uh, like the times, um, short synonyms and also abbreviations need to be considered. So if you can think of a, an abbreviation for a gas, so the, the ones that I would be thinking of would be uh, carbon monoxide, so CO, or CS gas, that's, that's also quite common. So Let's just try that. Let's, if we think that C might be relevant, let's put the C in. We don't know whether it's an S or an O at the end. But we're now looking for a morning symbol. And we're looking for, if our hypothesis is right about the name of a gas, we're looking for the name of a battlefield beginning with Y, which is five letters. Well, again, I think that's, you know, if you ask most people who are attempting these crosswords to come up with that, they would they would be able to, certainly given a bit of time to come up with Eve, as in the Battle of Eve. And I think once you have it, it explained to you how the clues works, we can all solve them. So this is just, it's just technique, it's learning the technique, it's learning some of the common abbreviations and synonyms, and then applying that knowledge to the clues. So here we can fill in Cypress, and the Cypress tree is a more morning symbol. Um, now let's find one more because I don't want the video to be too long. Um, but we should just have a quick look. Maybe we'll have a look at this long one here. Mm, no, I'm not going to look at that one simply because there's a few words in there that could be read in one or two ways. Let's have a look at this Indian ruler beheaded by legendary hero. So it reads very well as a clue, and it, it could be very, uh, could be tricky. Um, in clues that read that well, it can sometimes be difficult to guess at where the definition is sitting. But the reason I'm fairly confident when I read the clue about where the definition lives is that there's this word in there, beheaded. So if something's being beheaded, it in crossword language, that, that sounds like I'm taking the first letter and I'm cutting it off. So I'm getting rid of the head of the word. So if I'm doing that to an Indian ruler, that, that must be part of the wordplay. 
So that suggests that we're looking for a four letter legendary hero. So have a think about that in the context, especially of uh, you know the classical heroes. So heroes that you might have found in the Odyssey or the Iliad, um, or some of the Roman literature. And again, you might you might be able to come up with some 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 suggestions here um, that you know fit the four letter clue. And then it's a case of trying to work out. Um, how the wordplay might work. So, if you're looking for an Indian ruler, again, you might think Gandhi, but if you take the first letter off Gandhi, you've got the word that's too long. Um, so here, you need to think of the word Raja. I'll just put Raja in just to help us. And if we take the first letter off Raja, we get AJA. -A. Now, I think we could all probably think of a Greek hero um, who would who would fit into into this if we had add in X for Ajax. Um, and so what's going on with the wordplay here is that by by is a very sneaky word in wordplay because by can often just mean oh, well you put this alongside something else, um, but it can also be used in in multiplication so if you sort of say what's seven by six we'd say it's 42 and that's what's going on here so by is being used to indicate an X as in a times sign um, so I, I like that clue I think it's very neat and you know quite misleading um, but you can see again that once once the structure of the clue becomes clear you have half a chance to solve it. Um, so I think we'll stop there. We'll try and we'll try and make sure we do one video a week that's like really you know going back to basics and um, and talking through uh, some of the the basic principles that underline um, how to solve these these crosswords. So sorry if you're you know a super speedy solver. Looking forward to the Times Crossword Championship on Saturday and you know dashing off the puzzles in five, six minutes. This probably wasn't a very interesting video for you, but um, I hope for those of you starting out on the journey to become Times Crossword Champions, it's relevant and interesting. Uh, please leave us some comments. We like getting the feedback um, and tell us if you want to see more or less of this type of thing. Thanks for watching.